When you hear of witchcraft, you start to assume demons or voodoo. Concepts that most of us aren't well versed in. A bit scary, sure, but as long as you're just a little bit ignorant, you could probably get away with having a dark magic spell cast on you. All right, so today we're going to a witchcraft market. I'm in my incognito clothes, which I wear every time I go to like a dangerous spot, you know, a hood or something. This market, I've been told rumors, uh, they sell human body parts, they sell babies. I don't know if that's a thing from the past and they still do it or they still do it now. We're gonna try to get deep into it. I'm gonna be honest, out of all the adventures I've done so far, this seems like the scariest one. I don't really fuck with demons like that, guys. Like, I'll do this dangerous stuff, but I don't fuck with demons. We're going with this chick I met yesterday night at a restaurant club. <laughs> oh, that's not good. No. That's not good if you're the one leading us through today and that scared you. I skate easy, but I can drive fast. <laughs> this is Michaela, who I met less than 12 hours ago. She's going with us to the hood. Yeah, a tiny, petite, white girl with blue eyes. Probably not the smartest decision. Michaela is into witchcraft, actually. Yeah, that's more Eastern European, Celtic, kind of the old ways. What does that mean? Just to be clear, I don't understand a fucking thing about what we're doing today. I just know that it's dangerous. You're not going to cast a spell on me, right? Oh, no. no. Bad juju, man. Okay. Well, like, maybe a positive spell. No, 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 hella. If you want one, but, like, consent. Oh. oh, no, 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 okay, okay, then then I don't consent. You wanna order food? Ooh, could do. From there, we grabbed some breakfast, and it was time for our adventure. All right, so now I'm leaving my wallet. I'm leaving my phone at home because I do not want to get those stolen. Anytime I go to these hood missions, I normally take my second phone, but my second phone doesn't have service right now. So only thing I'm going with is cash. Cash is king, guys, no credit cards, nothing. Because in these places, when you do get robbed, what they will do in Africa is, and maybe even in other places, but in Africa specifically, they make you open your phone app. They'll hold you hostage, they'll make you open your phone app, and they'll find any banking apps, make you log in, and then transfer the money to their account. So with this, it leaves me incapable of doing that. No credit cards, nothing. Just cash and my camera are the only things that get stolen. And if they do get stolen, well... Hopefully they let me keep my SD card. And if you don't believe me, I left Michaela outside with a camera while I came inside to film this last bit. When you're in Joburg, you have to watch your stuff a lot. Like, make sure your bag's always, uh, like I'm gonna be putting mine under my jacket just in case, like put my phone and everything in there. Because yeah, there's a lot of pickpocketing, there's a lot of stuff going on and you know, it's kind of hard to notice where until your stuff's either gone or you're being held up. To add to the intensity, on our way there, we were stopped at a police checkpoint. All right, so there's a checkpoint of cops right here. You can see they're pulling over all the nice cars. Oh yeah, they are pulling Merc, over the nice Merc, cars. Merc. They, they pull over the nice cars so that the nice cars like give them money. Like they, bribe Yeah, they bribe them. It's a strategy here. I would love to get pulled over just so that we could bribe them. I actually fucking love this country. <laughs> Dude, it's insane. Like, it's the wild west. From my experience across the world, you can do anything with a hundred US dollar bill. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Anything. I because, think... because, and especially in these poor countries, a hundred dollar bill, is, it's the most powerful bill in the world, basically. That's like a thousand bucks. Yeah, like, even if the euro is stronger, sure, a hundred dollar bill is the most and it's well -known. tradable, well known. So I always have a hundred dollar bill on me at all times. Dude. So have you ever had a spell cast on you? I definitely think someone's been like, sending the evil eye off to me like as of recent at this point i kind of had just muted her out i don't i don't fuck with the whole crystal thing guys the whole horoscope crystal the energy it just thought i just can't i can't but but how do you get into casting a spell so how i like describe it is it's the equivalent of like a prayer and like myrrh and frankincense it's words it's intention and you use things to boost it as we were entering the center of the city it had become quite clear to me how dangerous this was actually about to be I've traveled to many different places over the last two years, but Johannesburg takes the cake for the dirtiest, most run-down, piece-of-shit city I have ever seen. If my car gets stolen, my mom is more darn us. Like, life will be in. Do you have insurance? I do, but I don't have insurance against my ass getting 
<laughs> this is real gloomy. Look, like, look. are these? Is this building hijacked? Um, uh, I mean, maybe some of it. Let's uh, go as incognito as we can. Yeah, that's not obvious. So there is a there is a safe and pain-free call WhatsApp free womb cleaning abortion. And they probably for these abortions, you think they do them with like a with like you think they do them with like a clothes hanger? Um I couldn't tell you. Penis enlargement? Yeah, they call it the lost spoon. Wait, let's let's keep looking at these signs. I, I would assume they do these abortions with literal coat hangers. Um, Penis enlargement, bum slash hips, quick money. You buddy. Do they actually? Oh, it smells like piss, huh? For research purposes, I didn't blur the phone numbers. You guys are welcome. I actually do think of you guys, and you should subscribe. Where? Where's their bones? Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. We're actually here. Yeah. This is crazy. Walk on this side. Let me be on the roadside. <laughs> you know where the Muti market is? The market? We've now entered into a sectioned off community in the middle of the hood with no white people or cameras and we're asking every local we see how to get where we want to go. Surely, nothing could go wrong. Right? It's after the food? Yeah. Okay, thank you. So thank you. No, we're literally going into an alley right now. We definitely don't belong. In America, it's not like a bad thing to go into an alley, right? Uh, very bad thing. Oh, uh, jiggles. This is kind of crazy. We're entering. Hello. Is this the market? Okay, the girls aren't giving us weird looks. Yeah. The women, the women aren't aren't giving us weird looks. Yeah. And just so we're clear, we're now inside an alley, in a metal shack, in a place where we clearly don't belong. I mean, I could probably pass, but the girl. It's like a traditional healing market. The other side. Yeah. It's not here. Oh, walk this way? Thank you. So, huh? It's in here? Down? Yeah. Come here, yeah. white one. Yeah. White one. Yeah. yeah that oh, white that white one. one? Yeah, yeah. In there. From there until down. Until yeah. down. Until down. They have problem with camera or no? It's okay. Yeah, it's fine. Camera's okay. Yeah, it's fine. Thank, Thank you. you. Hi. Go with this one. Eh? Hello. You want to see some? Yeah. yeah, we want to see like the market yeah, and how it all works. Go show. Him. Tourism and traveling. No, the block was getting hot. Word had gone around that two strangers were here and people were starting to surround us. For reference, we've been here maybe four minutes. Word spreads fast. The block's getting hot. The block's getting real. I don't know what that means, but I feel it anyway. That means, that means they're surrounding us. Like word's getting around. Yeah. How are you? We're studying research. We should come in. Can we film? Yeah. So it's uh, we can't. just thing, so they're not a big fan of if you we can't. to the place, you must find management. They can uh, manage. Yeah. Upon entering the market, we were confronted by the local sheriff. At least that's what he called himself. He kind of followed us everywhere, making sure we don't film anything at all because he's used to people coming in, making hit pieces on them, and reporting it to the police. For reference, the first thing I saw on the side of the market was an ATM, but it's not a regular ATM. If you look closely, this ATM got bombed 
and robbed in broad daylight. Bomb, guys. This is the kind of area we're in. After about 40 minutes of him following us, we were finally able to sneak away, and just like always, I'm best at finding a stranger that's gonna give me exactly what I want. And just like that, the cameras were back on. Okay, so we're inside the market now, and we finally found someone that will teach us and let us film. Um, these are dead animals everywhere. This is all traditional medicine. Yes. Sir. Okay, so this is this is a mix of it's medicine, a lot of medicine. Of like trees, plants, natural, right? Yes, yes. That helps if you've got a small business. It attracts customers. Okay. Yes, we only use the matches to like to boil it, and then the stems come out. The so you make right there. They're grinding the medicine. Yes, we use it. And they grind many different ones. Yes. And then what do you mix it with? Mud. It's oil. Oil. Yes. What kind of oil? Uh, animals oil. Animal oil. So animal fats, oils. This is all animal oil? Yes, it's all animals. So what kind of animal, what is it, fat, right? It's, it's cow. Cow. This is for the cow. This is cow, this is all cow? This is, this is for Ingolube. What's Ingolube? It's a, it's a peak. Do you know what Ingolube is? A peak. Do you know what Ingolube is? It's a peak. And then you have, you have more... Yes, these are a lot of animals, different animals. They what kind of, any like lions? Lions, really? zebra. Can we see lions? lions? This is for the lion. This is lion. Can, can we smell it or it's gross? No problem, you can smell it. Anything you want? Oh, it doesn't smell bad. Yes, it does not smell bad. No, it doesn't smell bad. Yeah, it's for... And this is all lion fat? Yeah, it's lion. Bones too or no? No, we don't have bones. Okay. We only have the, like, the, the only oil for them. Okay, and when you get these lions, yes. do, you, do, you, do people go and hunt them? Yeah, actually they go hunt them. Okay. And, then, and they bring them, and then the meat, what do they do with the no, meat? No, they don't bring with the meat. They don't only, only the bring. skin, the fat, yes, they, different market. Yes. What I understood is that the lions and other endangered animals get hunted. Then their heads, bones, and expensive parts get taken to a different black market. While the cheaper parts, like the fat, the skin, well, those get taken here and used in medicinal rituals. Yeah, what is this? It's, uh, Hyena? Yes. Oh really? Yes. That's a hyena. Yes. Oh, can I can I hold that no, a head? Can, that head over there, I can hold it in the one in the corner. Yeah, or the one over whichever one is the the best. Whichever one you think is the best. Wow, what animal is this? A cow? What is it? Uh, what's that? For uh, search of the, like, the peak of uh, that peak that used to stay in. Yes. It's a warthog. Yes. This is crazy. And what kind of animals are these? These, okay, I'll explain it to you. It's a yeah. python. Python? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, python. And you cook this? No, you don't cook you it. You burn it on fire? <laughs> He's laughing at me. You don't teach cook. me, teach me. You know what? You know, some other people, they use it for bells, for protection. Okay. Some of the protection against what? Demons? What? No, no demons. No demons. Like, they like night fires. Okay. Yeah. To avoid bad luck. Some okay. of them, they believe that we can cook it. Okay. So, I mean, for me, uh, this is in the uh, different types of medicine. Maybe about twenty medicine that are here. Twenty medicine. Yes. In this mix. Yes. Why? Why this one is like that, and why this one is like this? Good. Different things. This they one do, for business. Yes. This one is for like uh, bad healing. If you have bad dreams. Bad dreams. Bad dreams. You, you only took like, a small thing like this, and then you put it in something. You use a manchis. That smoke you healing, you healing, healing. Oh, you burn it. Yes. And then you you breathe the smoke. Yes, you breathe the smoke to avoid what? To avoid bad dreams. Okay. Avoid the healing. In the have you done it before? Yes. And it works. Yes, for me. And so these are how many animals you have here? No, Different. More than twenty. More than twenty. More than twenty. Wow, this is a snake. Cobra. Okay. No, it's not a python. It's a That's cobra. a cobra. Yes. Okay. Yes. King cobra. Yes. Whoa. Yeah. And they kill it. You know how it? much cost this? Thing? How much? <laughs> like this whole thing. Yeah. Like one of. Yeah, it's only four hundred. Four hundred rand. Yes. Okay. Yes. Twenty something U.S. dollars. Yes. And this is an expensive one. Yeah, this is a, no, the, the expensive one is a python. Oh, python more expensive than cobra. than cobra. So this one, python, how much? This piece? This piece, I think it's, it's 50 rand. 50 rand. Yes. This animal is what? This. Whoa. Whoa, what is that? Yeah, it's not. It's a water buffalo? It's a buffalo. And then this bone? It's for a zebra. This is a zebra? The zebra. Whoa. It's the food of the zebra. This is the, the zebra foot. Yes. 
Do you have a Do you have a zebra skull? Guns. We only have a skin. Oh wow! Yeah, it's only have a skin. Lion. This is lion skin. Yes. Whoa. Do you have a lion head? No, no, no. no. You can't get a lion head. No, Why? It's expensive. No, it's not. It's expensive. It's not allowed. Ah, but this is allowed. Yes. Oh my gosh! This is crazy. Wow. I was fascinated. I've never seen anything like this in my life. And it was so normal to these people. The shop owner was laughing at my fascination because I guess nobody foreign really gives them the time of day. You hear stories about how dangerous these places are, but in reality, it's just regular people trying to make it and survive. My friend, what is this one? Whoa. My friend, this one is what? This Hyena. Oh, this is this is a hyena. Oh my gosh. Wow. And then these these woods, what do they do? Yeah. Medicine for steaming, removing pet lags. Some of them are medicine for lags. Okay. Okay, I give you money now. Even though there was no filming. Five to ten bucks can get you anything in these countries. You find the right person who looks modern enough with a smile, and you can persuade anyone. It's all about your vibe. Thank you, and I owe you money too, bro, for showing me. Thank you. Thank you very much. What was your name? Jabolo. 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 No language. happy. Happy? Yes, I'm always happy. Thank you for showing us, seriously. Yes, sir. That means a lot. Okay, well, now we have to put the camera away because we're going to the rest of the market, and you're not supposed to film here. So... This is, uh, they gave us a tour. The rest of the market kind of all like looks like this, but that's, uh, that's what we got for now. I kind of wish I had filmed a little more because look at what we had captured in just the short time that we did. But when I go to these kind of places, I was afraid of triggering the wrong person and potentially getting murdered. I'm thankful for being together okay. around with this traditional uh -huh. people. But it's right to brother. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Shop. What do you, if you, I'm Solomon. Yeah. If you could tell something to the internet, what would you say? Yeah. Many people online, millions. Uh, me, I can say just the people, they must behave and prosper. They must be, be not be against the system, must link with the system in order to build a better trust. Which system? Uh, that is the kind of system is behavior, ability, and stop uh, abusing children, and stop uh, promote, promoting crime. Okay. Sure. Do you have, have you ever done crime here? Never. Never? Even on a single Sunday. Really? Never, never done any. Good for you. Yes. Even next generation of machine day machine. Honest man the work. The, the rest of the people Area. outside that don't come here think it's dangerous. No, no, no. They used to come. They used to come. Can you, can you tell them before we go, can you tell them like and subscribe? Like and subscribe? Yeah. Uh, we can explain a lot about uh, that one. Ah, oh, okay. Yes, even me, I'll make some research. Okay. Quite correct. Yes, make Thanks some research so. about like and subscribe. Yes, quite correct. Thank yes. you, yes. Solomon. Done and now say bye-bye. Bye-bye, over and out. Oh, over and out. <laughs> over and out. Bye-bye. <laughs> Next time we're in South Africa, I plan to head to the Vodacom Town, the largest residential building in Africa. A few decades ago, it was hijacked by drug dealers, rapists, and murderers. Yes, the building was hijacked. Local residents, well, oh they're afraid to even drive past it. Thanks for watching The Real World, raw and unfiltered. Subscribe.